what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about maxine in this video here today so maxine we know is supposed to drop or expected to drop anyway this summer at least that's what michelle monaghan believes we recently had a leaked image allegedly from online ceramics who has partnered with a24 in the past for merch related to their films however i was tipped off that someone from online ceramics denounced this leaked image in a dis discord server anyway the rumor related to this leak was that Maxine would drop on July 5th which would have been perfect and it also would have been great because it lines up with Monaghan's beliefs about the film being a summer release I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the ceramics person could have been lying and didn't want to confirm the leaked information that's not to say that the leaked image which I'm not gonna show here because again it could be real and if it's real the video gets flagged how what i just thought was funny was that they they i saw screenshots that were sent to me of this alleged online ceramics person confirming that it's fake but i'm like why would they say it's real if they work for online ceramics and you are screenshotting this and then you want to spread it around and now this online ceramics person is, is on record saying hey yes that leak is real why would they confirm that it's real should they shouldn't they not be doing that shouldn't they be doing the opposite it could be damage control I just thought it was quite ironic that the leaked image contained text relevant to Maxine that hasn't really been discussed by anyone like other than myself, like the Mark of the Beast that you guys pointed out to me and some other little things like it had the pentagram symbol on it, which is relevant to the story. It was just a bit fishy to me that this was fake, which again, it still could be. I just doubt that it is. I think if you were legitimately talking to someone from online ceramics, they're probably lying to keep this a secret. They're not going to tell you, hey, yes, it's true. I've done it in the past. Some people, some of you have come out and asked me, is it X, Y, Z? And I've told you no, just to keep something a secret. I've lied to a lot of you. <laughs> you, you know who you are if you reach out to me on DMs on Twitter. So we're going to now talk about what Ty West has teased after Maxine. Because I still think that Maxine will indeed drop in July, but we'll just wait and see. If it doesn't drop in July, that's fine. I still think it's just going to come out this summer. Ty West has teased that the film could potentially lead to another entry in this franchise, I guess you could call it at this point. So during an interview with What's Under the Bed, he explained that there may be more. He says there is there is this one weird asterisk idea that he has, and if he explained it, it would make sense, but he wants to wait for this movie to come out first to see how that goes. He also, at one point during the interview, showed a Puritan prop from the Maxine set, and keep in mind, set photos have already shown us that Maxine stars in the sequel to this film, so now Ty West has confirmed that the film is relevant to the plot. He also stated that he's almost done editing the film and that it's coming along. He said the less we know about the film, the better, because he also started dabbling in the fact that the trailer likely is going to show us a lot because trailers these days show us a lot, show us a lot. And we know more than we should going into the movie. Thanks to said trailer. But let's entertain this idea of a fourth film, because I feel like he's already pitched it to A24. At another point before those comments, he was talking about how Maxine was almost what we got before Pearl, but then he told A24 it would actually work better if we do Pearl before Maxine. So knowing that that has gone on, I'm like, well, if you're now also teasing a fourth idea that you have, maybe you've already talked about it specifically with A24. And I think the idea of what he is talking about, because he said it will make sense if he explained it, is something like this. We know in X, Pearl told Max that it'll all be taken from you, just like it was taken from me. So it's possible that a fourth film plays on that reality for her. Maxine could snap, Hollywood isn't what she thought it was, and then a monster is born. Or the story could also be used to commentate on how Hollywood ruins lives of a lot of young talent, and talent in general, if you aren't careful. I'm sure a lot of you can commentate a lot of unfortunate examples of childhood stars that you like growing up. I, as did I that have unfortunately just not had the best lives now that they're adults due to trauma and other abuse that went on in Hollywood could we see Maxine's career just go nowhere and because of this she snaps I think so or we could always have a story about Max being being abused in Hollywood no one believed her so she takes matters into her own hands the other important bit is that while I've labeled Maxine as a conclusion to Ty West's trilogy, 
It's important to remember that A24 has yet to actually market it as such. Shout out to Opening Kills for sending all of this to me, by the way. But A24 originally just teased Maxine by calling it the next chapter, not the final chapter as I've liked to dub it because it's pretty much been made clear to me that you're telling a trilogy. And it's been referred to as a trilogy, which it still can be. But if you start telling stories after the fact, of course, then the franchise itself isn't a trilogy. But the story could still be considered a, a three arc piece that you're going through right now. But they never marketed it as the final chapter. They called it the next chapter. So that makes Wes's teasing of a fourth film even more interesting. I was juggling the idea of Maxine developing a fandom that goes off the deep end because they're obsessed with her in a potential fourth, fourth film. But I'd rather pref I'd rather see Pearl's warning to Max turned into foreshadowing for a fourth film and see that play out and see Max end up a victim of the Hollywood machine, which causes her to snap just like Pearl told her it would. Now, would you guys prefer that story for Maxine? Do you think it would be fitting or do you think they should just leave it as a trilogy? But with him teasing already having an idea and that it would make sense if he explained it, that's why I want to circle back to that line that Pearl gave in the original movie, X, where she told Max, it'll all be taken from you just like it was for me. That's likely the most organic way to go with a fourth film. We're seeing her rise in Maxine, so in the fourth film, why not explore her unfortunate fall? And it can come in the form of someone abusing her. She takes matters into her own hands because no one believes her. Or she's just having a terrible career and it causes her to snap. A lot of different things and a lot of different influences around her get to her psyche and she just cracks. She cracks under all the pressure. I don't see anything wrong with that. It I, Honestly, in this case, it feels more more natural for a character like Maxine than the pitches you hear about turning Sidney Prescott into Ghostface or something like that. With Maxine, they are planting seeds for it, I would argue. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you have already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.